I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on preparation for the test. This is mainly for high school students. In the diagram, the square has side lengths of k meters. The square is divided into three right triangles and one isosceles triangle. The area of the three right triangles are equal. Find the value of x in meters. So that is the value of x which we need to find. We know that each side of the square is k units. Now the idea of taking a general question is that these questions are very popular. You see them every now and then with different numbers, right? Could be 6, 8, 10, whatever. So if I give you a general formula, then once in your test, you could do it in a minute's time. That's the whole idea. Let us understand the strategy. If this side is x, then the remaining side will be how much? It will be k minus x, correct? And what we also know that this is a square, and therefore each corner is 90 degrees. We are given here that there are three right triangles, right? And we are also given that these right triangles are equal. The area of the three right triangles are equal. So area is equal, right? That is what is given to us. So that helps you to form equations. So let's start with this particular triangle. Let me call this as A1. So area of A1 will be half base into height. Both are x, right? So x times x. Now let's look into A2. Um, area of A2 is basically half of x uh, k times k minus x. k times k minus x. Now we know these two areas are equal and we need to find the value of x in terms of k. So we can equate these two, right? We can equate these two and then solve for x. That's the whole idea. So equating, we get half x square equals to half of k times k minus x. So half and half cancels, right? So you could now write this as x square equals to k square minus kx, correct? So basically we just cancelled half and then equated. We got a quadratic equation. So this quadratic equation is x square plus kx minus k square equals to 0. Now k is a constant. You could be given any length, right? Now, we can apply the quadratic formula to find the value. So, x will be equals to minus k plus minus b square, which is k square, minus 4ac. That means 4 times ac, right? So, c in this case is negative. So, that makes it positive k square divided by 2. Now, this is 5k plus minus square root of uh, well, k plus minus, this is 5k square, right? 4 plus 1, 5k square over 2. So that gives you minus k plus minus, k square can come out as k, and we have square root of 5 over 2. So clearly, we have this as negative, and we have square root 5 times k. So we can now write this as, k times square root of 5 minus 1 over 2. So that matches with option A. Is that clear to you? Right? So taking k common, we get square root 5 minus 1. Right? We cannot have a negative value. We have to take the positive here. Perfect? So taking k common, we get square root 5 minus 1 within. So let me clearly write this. And so we have this as square root 5 minus 1 over 2 times k, option A as the right option, correct? So if you are given some value of k, let's say 6, 8, or 10, you can just substitute and calculate or match your solution. But I hope you understand the whole concept. So in a given triangle, the x was given to us, the remaining side is k minus x. Areas equate any two triangles and solve 
using the quadratic formula. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Also look into the links provided if you're really working for exams like SAT Maths Level 2. Thank you for your time.